Hello and welcome to the news from Bahrain International. I am Aisha Ibrahim. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa chaired the weekly cabinet meeting at Gudaybiya Palace. The cabinet commended His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa's visit to the UAE. During the trip, His Majesty met with the Vice President and Prime Minister of the UAE and ruler of Dubai, His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Rashid Al Maktoum, and the Crown Prince of Abu Dhabi and Deputy Supreme Commander of the UAE Armed Forces, His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Zayed al Nahyan to review how the long-standing relations between the two countries and ways to further enhance ties. The cabinet extended its congratulations to Her Royal Highness the wife of His Majesty the King and President of the Supreme Council for Women, SCW, Princess Sabika bint Ibrahim Al Khalifa for her inclusion in UNESCO's Contemporary and Historical Women Leadership Initiative that marks International Day of Women in Multilateralism 2022. The cabinet noted that Her Royal Highness's inclusion reflects the success of the policies and programs implemented by the SCW under the leadership of Her Royal Highness. The cabinet affirmed that Bahraini citizens remain at the core of all public sector programs and initiatives and that the government continues to develop plans to ensure the sustainability of projects and services provided to citizens. The cabinet noted the importance of expanding efforts to achieve His Majesty the King's vision that ensures Bahraini citizens are at the center of development efforts. The cabinet reiterated the government's commitment to enhancing the standard of living for citizens. In this regard, His Royal Highness the Crown Prince directed the Ministry of Labor and Social Development to double the distribution of social assistance allowances to those entitled to social security and disability pension during the holy month of Ramadan. The decision was made to reduce living costs for low-income families during Ramadan. The cabinet noted that the government amended social security distribution and financial support for low-income individuals in January 2022 by increasing financial support for low-income families and social security beneficiaries by 10%. His Royal Highness also directed the Ministry of Industry, Commerce and Tourism to monitor the supply of consumer goods to ensure there is ample availability of quality and affordable commodities as Ramadan approaches and in light of the current global challenges. His Royal Highness also directed the Ministry to intensify inspection campaigns to monitor markets and ensure price stability. The Minister of Industry then briefed the Cabinet on the Ministry's efforts to ensure the availability of basic commodities and their ability to respond to market needs. The Cabinet welcomed the decision of the International Civil Aviation Organization that extends Bahrain management of air traffic over international waters in the north of the Arabian Gulf from the UAE's Flight Information Region FIR borders to Kuwait's FIR borders. The cabinet noted that this decision reflects international confidence in the kingdom's management of its flight information region and neighboring maritime airspaces. The cabinet condemned terrorist drone attacks that targeted a petroleum refinery in Riyadh, endangering civilians and damaging facilities. The cabinet affirmed that Bahrain stands in solidarity with Saudi Arabia as it implements measures to preserve its security, stability and territorial integrity. The cabinet also condemned a missile attack on Erbil in the Kurdistan region of Iraq. The cabinet also confirmed Bahrain's support of Iraq's measures to maintain its security and territorial integrity and prevent terrorist activity. The cabinet then approved the following memorandums. A memorandum by the Ministerial Committee for Legal and Legislative Affairs regarding 10 ministerial decisions issued by the Minister of Justice, Islamic Affairs and Endowments regarding the enactment of the Personal Data Protection Law, which in includes a number of rules, procedures and regulations. A memorandum by the Ministerial Committee for Legal and Legislative Affairs regarding the government's response to three proposals submitted by the Council of Representatives. 
The cabinet took note of ministerial reports regarding Bahrain's participation in the Antalya Diplomatic Forum in Turkey, the 157th session of the League of Arab States Council and the first edition of the World Defense Show in the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia. The cabinet also reviewed the visit of the Minister of Health of the State of Israel to the Kingdom of Bahrain. The chairman of the Shura Council, Ali bin Saleh al Saleh, received the Council of Representatives Speaker Fawzia bint Abdullah Zainal. The chairman and the speaker stressed the significance of close cooperation and steady coordination between the two chambers of the parliament on national issues and matters, which reflects the keenness of the legislative branch to consolidate the democratic process in Bahrain and to sub uh, supplement it with legislative achievements that enhance development programs and strategies. As Saleh and Zainal expressed their pride in the strong royal support the legislative branch receives from His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa. They stressed that a cooperation with the government headed by His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa consolidates the national and civilized achievements in Bahrain. They also noted that the national responsibility of the legislative branch constitutes an incentive to intensify efforts and to strive to modernize law, laws, exercise powers, and use constitutional tools to achieve the interest of the nation. The Supreme Council for Health President, Lieutenant General Dr. Sheikh Mohammed bin Abdullah Al Khalifa, held a meeting with the Deputy Governor of Muharra Governorate, Brigadier Abdullah Khalifa Al Jiran, Council of Representatives member Dr. Hisham Al Ashiri, members of the Board of Trustees of Primary Healthcare Centers, and a number of health sector officials. He affirmed that the healthcare sector in the kingdom witnesses a continuous development thanks to the unlimited support of His Majesty the King and His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister. He reviewed the gradual application of the self-management of primary health care centers project, which will be implemented on an experimental basis in Muharraq Governorate and then circulated successively to all governorates. Dr. Sheikh Mohammed referred to the progress made in implementing the National Health Insurance Program, which aims to achieve comprehensive health coverage and enhance quality and competitiveness in providing health services to meet the aspirations of the beneficiaries. He stressed that the self-management project comes in line with the government's work program and Vision 2030 and the implementation of national initiatives aimed at improving the quality and sustainability of health services. Under the patronage of the Attorney General, Dr. Ali bin Fadl al buainin a panel discussion was held remotely between the public prosecution represented by the family and child prosecution and some civil society institutions in partnership with the Supreme Council for Women in order to enhance the cooperation and joint communication with the strategic partners in the Public Prosecution Initiative for General Social Welfare, Raya and the effective application of penalties and alternative measures stipulated in the restorative justice law for children and their protection from maltreatment. The Attorney General stressed that the initiative is one of the human rights achievements witnessed by the Kingdom of Bahrain under the prosperous era of His Majesty the King. It also indicates the concerted national efforts to advance family rights and care for women and children. He stressed the need for civil society to contribute to the provisions of voluntary work and rehabilitation programs in a manner commensurate with the age of children in light of the law of the restorative justice for children and protecting them from abuse. The discussion panel addressed several main aspects, including the impact of this initiative on society and the importance of preparing an integrated work system in partnership with human rights and social institutions concerned with family, women and children affairs. The panel concluded with many recommendations, including harnessing all national capabilities to implement this initiative for the development of the community. 
The health insurance program is keen to develop health services and provide the best for all segments of society in the Kingdom of Bahrain, in addition to achieving comprehensive and integrated health coverage of high quality. More in this report. The health insurance program is the result of the government efforts that is keen to achieve integrated and comprehensive forms of health coverage that targets all segments of society in the Kingdom of Bahrain, as it will provide a health system characterized by justice, competitiveness, and sustainability. The program focuses on enhancing the quality of health treatment received by citizens and residents in Bahrain, and these results include freedom of choice, financial sustainability, high quality, and self-management of government service providers. The health insurance program seeks to provide effective health services of high quality and good use of resources to obtain the best results and to ensure the rights of patients and to provide an opportunity for the private sector to provide basic and complementary services as a competitor to the public sector. It is planned to start applying the health insurance to foreigners in the second half of this year, while the system will be applied to Bahrainis at the beginning of 2023. The Ministry of Health is keen to develop the skills of health workers, which aims to enhance the quality and development of the health sector in the Kingdom of Bahrain and the gains that have been achieved under the directives of His Majesty the King and the support of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister in the process of developing health services in the Kingdom.